that save us time. The preset styles, oh my goodness, this is just wonderful. If you're looking at quick styles, just quick things that you'd like to add to your document, if you'd like to look at, I invite you, if you're playing with me, oh, you have to look at this, click on the Insert tab. And if you look at your Insert tab, you have a number of options, of course. You have your clip art, you have a cover page in the Pages group. They've added, this is brilliant for those doing RFPs or doing documents where you have to insert a cover page, a formal proposal perhaps for RFP responses. Just wonderful in terms of integrating a cover page with graphics already on. You can customize it. You can, of course, add um, tables. And if you click each of these as we're going through, you'll see under, for example, the tables group under um, insert tab, the quick styles. All the way at the bottom, eye candy, quickly, can you add these items? It's a quick table, maybe it's a quick calendar, maybe it's just a quick item list that you just don't feel like forming and, and formatting. Again, very quick access that you can find right there under the Insert tab. The Building Blocks offers some of the most important pieces or accessories to your Word document that you'll find under the Insert tab. And if you scroll all the way over to the Text group, and there's a quick part. I wish they broke this out a little bit more. This is my only nit. It, it should be broken out even more because there's so much power here. And we do have to spend quite a bit of training time for folks to understand how they can effectively get this and use this. For those of you using the quick parts for field mapping or for building blocks, you'll find new themes and templates for headers, footers. Honest goodness, if I tell you there are 30 page number formats, you have very different ways for doing that. You'll also find your table options here as well as watermarks, just wonderful tools for those of you who have to stamp something that says draft on it or confidential. Again, this, you, this used to be a wrestling match in 2003 for us to do that, but a very nice set of tools that you'll find under each of the insert tab groups. Now let's move forward. It's almost as if you have an assistant editor on staff. Boy, do I like the proofing tools that have been added to Word 2007. Of course, you can go to the Review tab. That's where you'll find the thesaurus, and you'll find the spell check. They've added contextual checking, which is actually quite important for those, as an example, uh, for the word there, are hominins. That you can turn that on, and you can ask it to look at the sentence in context. That's really important for making sure the typos get caught, because we know we've all had that experience of having one of those hominins go out, and it's also just because we're so busy. The spell check didn't catch it, we didn't catch it, and it went out wrong. And we can't afford mistakes in this new world, in this new economy. So I'm going to point your attention to two places. You can check the review tab, and here you'll also find the tracking changes. Boy, have they expanded that suite, uh, a powerful tool that they've just made better. You can annotate with comments. You can look at your translation tools. Remember, they're using Word Lingo. You can quickly translate a phrase or two. I do caution that if you are using this for full documents, that translators, particularly those in the banking world, you'll need to consider getting that to make sure that you've translated for business or consumer, depending on your audiences, um, for context in the dialect that you're dealing with. But this offers you a quick tool just to check and make sure you're on track. The second place I have to point you to is the Office button. The Office button, if you click on that, the Word Options button, again, is at the bottom of that, that menu. You'll click on the proofing category on the left-hand side. The screenshot I have here for you, highlighted in a lovely marigold color, the proofing tab is clicked. And here you'll notice you have a number of spelling options that you can turn on or off. You can manage these settings in context. And this is where, as an example, I'll point your attention here to the contextual spelling to turn that on. And again, spelling is turned on by default. You can turn that off if you, if you choose to use your own dictionaries or not using that functionality. So options exist, two different places, review or the office button. Now for those using long documents, you know how important it is in this day and age to make sure you've cited your sources, you've used your tables. And we have all done that where we've had to go back and forth and create a table of contents. You're going to throw that marker away, the highlighter, where you highlighted the, the footnote. If you use these tools, and we have some very popular sessions for training on that, 
You can do it once, you mark it, Microsoft Word will find them and categorize them and format them in a separate page at the end or the beginning of your document and capture every single footnote, every single figure you added, every single chart you cited, every single page for your table of contents. If it changes, the only button you have to click is the F9 and update. You do it once. It's just wonderful for working with long documents and, and working with authors and those of you publishing, for those out in the healthcare world, I know many of you are under pressure to publish. And that's a side job because your full-time job is being a surgeon. So for those of you doing publishing as a part-time job to what you're doing full day, I'm telling you this is going to save you a ton of time. Three hours in, in a training session and you'll be working faster and speedier across the way. Again, long documents. Where can you find these? References tab. Again, for those self-taught or those that are self-teaching themselves, you're going to want to look at each of the groups depending on your industry. The legal field is going to love the table of authority. And again, for those working in the publishing world, or even if you're just doing your annual report, maybe you're filing your, filing your SEC responses or your quarterly reports, these will work just wonderfully for making sure that users have a table of context. It's a bare minimum, folks, and make sure it's professionally used. Very easy to do here under the References tab. Let's move forward. A chart, you'll notice this from Excel. It's become just as easy to insert a chart from Excel. You now have the same tools you only had before in Excel. Look at the eye candy, folks. The charts, the tables, what it means is you're putting data in your documents. The more data you put, again, it's quantifying, making sure that you're telling the why with numbers. Very important as you're justifying any income or justifying any expense, put a chart in. It's going to tell a thousand words. Very important from the Insert tab, you have access to these tools. This is one of my favorite. If you listen to me from PowerPoint, you know I'm in love with SmartArt. You can find this under the Insert tab. SmartArt gives us a McKinsey consultant. My apologies if there's anybody from the McKinsey world right by my side. And what it does, it takes an ordinary set of bullets, folks, and it converts it. You can now use graphics to tell a story. Why is that important? Look at the difference in terms of capturing a picture. The recall of a graphic is so much larger than just bullets or words. And in fact, you're selling or you're communicating to people who don't respond to text. They may respond visually. That's how they remember. That's what they process. These are high-impact graphics. If you look at the gallery, and again, I invite you to click on that as we're looking here at our screens. Keep eating, but look at this. If you click on that more, again, that gallery button, you're going to find a story for something to tell. What I love for these is for strategic planning documents. I love this for quarterly updates. Many of you, if you're working within a large matrix organization, many of our Fortune 500s have to do this regularly. You're sending updates out to clients. Maybe you're an account manager and you're trying to spice up your communications to them. Throw it in these smart art graphics and instantly it's going to increase the confidence you have in presenting your information, your audience will get it. And it's just going to catch their attention and make it stick after you've left. Insert tab, smart art, just a wonderful set of graphics combined with concept work here. 